Hi, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. Hello, today is Thursday, which means it's time for some dope throwback videos. A few weeks ago, a viewer or an avid subscriber shared with me a link showing how the world map has been distorted over time. Personally, even before he shared the link, I had known about this for quite some time now. In fact, I wanted to do a live stream where you guys could chip in with the countries that you wanted compared in real time. And so you could see how this distortion might have happened. But unfortunately, I never had the right time to do that. But today being a Thursday, I'm going to show you how these countries have been distorted and the reason as to why. Now, to make it in simple terms, it's all about geopolitics. If you all can remember way back in your primary geography when the school provided you with an atlas the first things you guys could do or not only atlas but the charts in the classrooms was to compare how this country will be much more powerful than the other simply because you saw the country's relative size and assumed because the country was much bigger it was much more powerful than the other believe it or not you all grew up with this in mind i'm going to leave a link to all the things that i'm going to speak about down in the description i hope there'll be no more questions in the comment section now there's this website called the truesize.com where you guys can compare the different sizes of countries now if you go to this website you will all see what we are all accustomed to see the size of africa see the size of south america See the size of North America, see the size of Greenland particularly, and Russia, and somehow China. And this is all what we are used to seeing in Google Maps, in atlases, and in charts. Take for example Alaska and try to drag it towards Mexico. You'll see that it almost gets to the same size as Mexico, but how it's being depicted is much bigger. Take for example Greenland, you can drag it to uh, let's say South America, you'll see how small it gets. Take the whole of United States and you'll see it somehow fits in Northern Africa. Take uh, the whole of Canada, it's the same. Russia, if you can fit, you can fit it, somehow it will be part of Northern Africa and Central Africa. So I bet if you go to this website, you'll be shocked at how these countries have been blown out of their relative sizes. Now, what is the reason to this distortion of world map? Take a look at this video. This audience is a very interesting group because of the differences. It really bothers me when I talk to all white groups because folks, there's no such thing as an all white group. You all have the same great 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 grandparent back there 280,000 years ago and she was a black female why the maps why the maps well because people who are racist in in this country we're all racist where white folks are all racist we don't understand where it comes from you can't cure it if you don't recognize that you have it we all are infected with racism we are taught to be racist in the schools. and here's just one example will you hold this up here please how many of you have ever seen a map that looked like this before? How many of you have ever seen this map? Seen that map? Yeah. Isn't this the map that you use K through 16 in the United States of America? Now, folks, look at this map. According to your, so, your social studies teacher, what is the equator? Right An imaginary there, line where? Yeah. Around the center of the Earth. Then if, if this map is correct, then the equator must be here, and Chicago has a tropical climate. Now, folks, this is the map that we use in the schools. Look where the United States is in the middle of the world, right? Now, here's the USSR, which is no more, of course, Mongolia, China, Africa, uh, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Now, look over here. USSR, Mongolia, China, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Twindy is here. We have two Indias. Did you know that? Now, people, this is a flat-out lie. Look at the size of Greenland and the size of South America. According to your social studies teachers, what were continents? Largest land masses on the face of the earth, right? Now, do you know the continents? Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europe, North America, and South America. Did I say Greenland? Well, Greenland isn't a continent, but it's a huge land mass according to this map, right? 
The map is a flat-out lie, people. If you read the legend on the map, here it says, in fact, South America is actually nine times larger than Greenland. <laughs> now, look at this map. The equator on this map is down here. All the white countries are larger than they should be, and all the countries of people of color are smaller than they should be. This is a visual image that teaches children a lie. In order to make this map anywhere near accurate, you have to take this over here and put it here like this. Now, well, can somebody hold that? Can you hold that down there, somebody? Are you a somebody? Sally is a somebody, Okay, yeah. Sally's a somebody. There. Now, take a look at the difference. Does that give you a different visual image of the importance of the United States? People, there's a, the way you use things like this, teaching aids like this, are what make you and I racist. We were taught that this is the way the world looks. It's a flat-out lie. If you, if you have children going to school and they're seeing this map, right. they're seeing a distortion yeah. of size, of shape, of location, of importance. If they're looking at this map, they're seeing a distorted, shape distorted, but size and location and importance makes sense. This makes no sense. Right. On that map, Alaska is bigger than Mexico. On this map, <laughs> Mexico yeah. is bigger than Alaska. And look at the look at, at Canada on this map. Look at that thing. That much of the map. Look at Canada on a properly constructed map. Hmm. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that's important? It's a world of difference, actually. A world of difference. That's a good. That's a good thought. Look at there. Look at South America, and compare it to Greenland on this map. Right. It's almost like we're teaching kids that we're bigger, we're better. That's right. You know. That's right. That's exactly what this map. That's exactly what this map is supposed to do. Right. What we have in this country and call education is indoctrination. So why do they do that? I don't understand. Why? Because the Pope commissioned Mercator to map to make a map that shows the spread of Christianity. So all the countries in which there are predominantly white people are larger than those in the southern part of the of the world. If we use this map in school, it would give children a different visual image of the size, the shape, the relative importance of the countries of the world. Would it be unreasonable to ask teachers to put this map beside that one in their classroom? See, I think just one, that's one of the things you can do. Another thing you can do as a person who is a racist, learn about your own racism. First, admit that you have that problem. Then, we've got to stop denying it. We